Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. Alright, uh, another different one. Um, I think some of you know I like to go to Atomic Rooster. Uh, this is Seven Lonely Streets. Um, this is one of my top three or four of theirs and probably one of my top 50 all time of, of any type of song and I bet no one here has ever heard of it <laughs> um, so I know this song really well um, though not the lyrics this does not have the lyrics with it um, but I don't know maybe we can think about it a little bit um, but I hope you enjoy this song and let's talk about it and try to figure out what it's about a little bit if we can <laughs> Thanks for being here. Conjunction with the keyboard playing in this song. Um, not an expert on either, but something about it is borderline magical. I don't know if you feel the same way. <laughs>
think that this song doesn't resonate with a lot of people. Um, I want to say, if you really want to give it a chance, um, you might listen to it ten times on loop <laughs> if you have that kind of time, right? <laughs> I actually sometimes drive with this song because it's the perfect timing between a couple places um, and somehow it brings me to a happy place <laughs> um, and that the song length you know it's just a little bit over six minutes is perfect for most of the places I go um, I don't know what it is about really it's a sad song but um, I guess it's a little bit like the blues somehow hearing a about other people's struggles can lift you up in certain ways, I guess. I don't know. Maybe feel, make you feel not as alone. Um, yeah, I, I mean, the keyboarding, the keyboarding and the drumming are superb. Um, the guitar is strong. Um, the vocals, uh, they did have several lead singers over the years, um, but I always felt like Atomic Rooster was missing that. If they just had that one charismatic, powerful voice, you know, like Deep Purple or Uriah Heep or Led Zeppelin, that one voice that could carry them strongly, that that would have put them over the top a lot more. But, you know, I know it's more complicated than that. And frankly, I'm thrilled that they left the music they, that they did, even if nobody else listens to them but me. <laughs> kind of a creepy cover, isn't it? Kind of strange. I don't know the backstory of this cover, this song. It's pretty hard to find information about all these things, um, at least as far as I can tell. Anyway, try to keep doing different kinds of music. Obviously, I've got certain bands I come back to, but I hope you can appreciate the variety on this variety show. <laughs> um, you know, I it, luckily I don't care about money or likes or subscribers or any of that. Um, so I'm just going to keep listening to music I enjoy. And I hope you get some value out of it too. Thanks for watching, everybody. Peace.